So I welcome you back and we will start with the first module of the project that is project envisioning to delivery process. We'll see in the next slide. This is project envisioning. All other processes or phases that are related to project envisioning. The first phase we are going through is envisioning where you need to understand what exactly the customer wants to start the business or what his requirements are. So in envisioning with Azure project that we are going to start here, the customer needs to host a public facing application that is written in .NET language. So this is the envisioning phase and the next phase comes is request for information. What exactly is request for information? This is where the buyer seeks to understand the capabilities of a seller. So this is this is a phase where a buyer wants to understand what capability the seller has. So what are we going to do with Azure project over this project investing phase that is RFI? Here the customer release request for information and here the tech page will respond. So here is a customer and as tech page we are going to respond to that customer. So next is request for quotation. So what exactly is request for quotation? This is where the buyer seeks the price quote per item or R or meter or any another unit. Quote should ideally focus only on the price. So this is about the price. The customer release request for quotation and tech place consulting will share its estimate that this cost is about this. So a uh, overall picture of quotation is released so when you when a customer request for any quotation tech place will consider that considers its requirement and according to its requirement what charges are related to each resources it will give an estimation for that the third is proposal so tech place shares the proposal with scope hld Warm estimate that is he will give you a high level design the estimation the scope overall all the uh, basic requirements that it will consist is of a proposal so tech pledge will give a proposal after that comes the phase that is negotiation what is negotiation negotiation is a phase where tech pledge and the customer will negotiate and find and finalize the commercial and technical details so on a basis of on when they uh, when the proposal is accepted after that comes the negotiation so customers will say okay we are we are going with the proposal of tech pledge and the next thing we want is we are going towards the negotiation table where all the commercial details all the technicalities will be finalized so all the things after getting your proposal successful after getting your proposal validated and you are done then the tech pledge will go at its negotiation table after that comes letter of intent or a purchase order. So what is exactly letter of intent? This is where the buyer expresses the interest in hiring the seller. Note that this is not a contract, but only an indication from the buyer so that the seller can start the preparatory work. So that is a letter of intent. And what is a purchase order? Purchase order is uh, where the buyer awards the contract. That is a purchase order to the seller. Uh, in letter of intent, it is only an indication to the buyer. But in purchase order, he gives an award. That is, he uh, provides that contract. So in, in the terms of project about Azure here, a customer accept the price quoted and he will release the LOI followed by the PO. So this is about project envisioning. Next, we go and see project kickoff so what comes under project kickoff there are four different phases that come under project kickoff that is project management organization activation that is project manager is aligned that is the main person where he will take care of everything then there will be a steering committee then the board is established so all this comes under project management organization that is firstly things when the project kickoff starts like after that project plan and a work breakdown structure the plan and work breakdown structure into picture what he will do is he will prepare so let's talk about project 
kick off so there are different phases under project kick off the first phase that is project management organization activate so here the main part that is project management align then a steering committee is assigned then the board is established so this is an important part where you activate your project management the oh, the whole team is being activated and the next part comes is project plan or a work breakdown structure what is a project plan or a work breakdown structure here the project management comes into picture and he prepares the detailed project plan and define time and responsibility so this is the uh, uh, like the person project manager has to a detailed project plan and define time and responsibility after that comes a low level design that is lld phase where a solution architect along with the team prepare technical execution document so all the technical execution document will hold all the technical technicalities or all the steps that you have to perform so this uh, low level design is prepared by the solution architect with his team so after that comes the main phase that is project kick off phase where all the task execution has started the formally a kick off phase and the task execution is started so this is about project kick off then comes project execution so there are six different phases that we go through project execution first is build phase then a user acceptance phase then the production phase then a stabilization phase then handover phase a sign off and invoice so what actually is the build phase so when you talk about azure project the first thing you is you sign up as azure tenants in build phase azure tenant tenant sign up is there then the app hosted on azure app service with ci cd so application is hosted on azure app services with the continuous integration and delivery this comes under pub build phase then what comes next is user acceptance phase so next is customer perform uat so customer will always perform after build phase he will perform an user acceptance test and the results of uat are analyzed if the user uh, acceptance test does not uh, validate the result and it fails so in the build phase he has to provide all the things in detail and go again for user acceptance test test so once the user acceptance test is validated it is passed then only the things will go into production phase so here the application will run and go live for all the us customers and they will start using it so once the things are into production as we know the application goes live all the us customers are using it then comes the stabilization phase where a setup is analyzed for any performance or any security issues if there are bugs happening anything all things are analyzed performance is analyzed and security is analyzed and this phase overall is called stabilization phase then the fourth thing that comes in, fifth thing that comes into picture is handover phase after stabilization phase we hand over the build documents credentials with the handhold training hand holding training so all the hand holding training is provided we provide all the build documents all the credential so we just hand over that so this is known as hand over phase because everything is accepted till now the build is successful the uat is successful the production is successful that's why in stabilization phase we fix all the errors or we see the performance and security is in place and then we just hand over after that comes the last step that is sign off sign off has been taken and invoice has raised as per the purchase order milestone so this is about sign off and invoice at last it will be always a sign off and invoice will be raised for that so as per the your purchase order milestone so all these phases come under project execution phase that is from build phase uat phase production phase stabilization phase handover phase and a sign off and invoice i hope till now the things are clear all the steps during from project envisioning till project execution are clear okay so let's take a break over here and we'll meet with second module